Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for September. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, keep in mind this reading is for September. It's being recorded in the middle of August, so it may not resonate right now. This is a preview. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, the timing is fluid, so you know a lot of people don't get it, and that's why I have to keep explaining myself. I mean, there's a lot of newbies just watching tarot readings, and they don't get it at all. So the timing is absolutely fluid. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So the first thing I see is the Four of Cups reversed. The Four of Cups reversed is seizing a new opportunity. It's taking it. It's like you see it. You see an opportunity for love and you take it. Okay, you take it. Then I see the Ace of Wands. So that's a new spark. That's a new flame. It's a new exciting opportunity. It's like there's this sudden sudden desire, this sudden instant attraction. And with that paired with that four of cups reverse, it's like you see it. It's like, woo, where'd that come from? So I feel whatever this is, it could make you really, really happy. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know where this is coming from because I see the nine of cups and the knight of cups. So there's an offer of love coming in. And it could make you very, 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 very happy, Gemini. If you're in a coupled relationship, your relationship could be stepping it up to the next level. You may be even getting a proposal. I don't know. Whatever this is, it looks like it's really good as as of yet. Um, but, you know, the cards could say something different. This is just what what I'm seeing. I, I do see the Eight of Cups, though. So the Eight of Cups is is, is thinking about it. You know, you, you may be you're thinking about that wish fulfillment because after the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups. You may have to say goodbye to something, you know, to get this, not to get the Nine of Cups because the Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. So maybe you got to say goodbye to something to have that deep wish fulfillment. I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because I see all these cups. I also see the chariot. So I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer. It doesn't have to be a cancer. I don't know who it is. Um, but I do feel as though there's something coming very quickly. I think that you're headed in the right direction. You're headed towards something victorious. I think that you are, whoever is coming towards you, they are, uh, they're coming very quickly. I think they could, um, they could be traveling to you. There could be a distance, okay? This person, or this person could drive a vehicle for a living. You know, this person may be behind the wheel quite a bit. That, that might be the person that you're dealing with. They may drive a vehicle. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a car. It could be an airplane. I don't know what, it, I don't know where that came from. I don't know, but it could be a truck. It could be anything. I'm not sure. This person could be a driver of some sort. Um, <laughs> interesting huh so anyway um but i see the ten of wands you may be a little overwhelmed you may feel you may be too busy for this you may need to make some time for this you may be a little overwhelmed you may be overworked you may you may uh have a lot going on and you need to make some time for this maybe you're dealing with an earth sign you could be dealing with a, a taurus virgo capricorn because i see the king of pentacles whoever is coming in they are stable they are a hard worker. This person could be a boss. This person um, has money, perhaps. This person is very uh, materialistic. This person is very clever. They have an eye for business. They have a business sense. This may be a business owner. I'm not sure who this person is. But anyway, um, does it have to be? This person is a hard worker. Put it that way. Gemini, what do we got? Now I see the judgment card. So the ju I don't know if this is a reconciliation or what. I don't know. I, it doesn't have to be. I don't. I. I don't know. I don't know. But judgment is a card, perhaps of resurrection. Resurrection doesn't have to be. So I don't want. And people are going to comment. I don't want. I don't want an ex. I don't want an ex either. Okay. So just you know, it doesn't mean that I'm going to comment on every reader's thing. You know, I don't want an ex. Be open minded. Doesn't mean it's an ex. Okay, um, this could be a reconciliation with somebody from your a past life. Judgment is a past life card, so put keep that in mind. So I'm not sure what this is, but something is about to be revealed with the judgment card. Something is about to be re revealed, and. You may start to feel more alive again. Maybe, I'm not saying that you weren't. I think that you're pretty lively anyway. But, um, what do we have for Gemini? If you are single, I just saw the Nine of Pentacles. If you are single, you may not be single for long. Um, here we go. Ooh, 
Ace of Swords, seeing things clearly, the truth, the raw truth. This is the sword of truth. So communicate. You're about to, and this really plays along with the judgment card. This is some sort of awakening. This is the truth. The judgment is the truth as well. So you may be receiving some sort of truthful, honest communication with some from somebody that is going to open your eyes. It's going to allow you to to you know maybe take a new approach. You may get this new idea. Um, hmm. This is an awakening of some sort. So it's going to wake you right up. Put it that way. Gemini, this is going to wake you right up. This may be the one. You may meet the one. I just saw that one and it stuck out. It really did. Um, I'm not sure if it's an Aquarius or a Libra or a Gemini. I like yourself. I'm not sure. It could be. Um, what do we got for Gemini? Four of Wands. Commitment. Happiness. This is a celebration. You may meet this person at a celebration in September. Unexpectedly. It's like all of a sudden the door is open and you see the light. Okay? Or something happens. Okay, this is happiness. A lot of it. And this is unexpected. I think it's unexpected. Um, you may be meeting your match because I saw the Ace of Wands. There could be like an instant attraction. Um, it's here. It's like all of a sudden it arrives. King of Wands reversed. Faith. Yeah, you do got to have faith and trust. There could be lack of faith. This may not be, uh, traditional, right? It may, this person, um, you may have some religious differences as well. But anyway, let me keep going. Um, you gotta let go of the need to control. Okay, so if you're, you gotta be open minded. Be open minded, Gemini. I'm just telling you, be open minded. We have a lot of fire energy here. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Taurus here. Um, this could be fear of commitment, fear of committing to this person. You may not trust this person. This person is honest. You may not believe it. You, there could be disbelief. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's a level of confusion. Complex decision here. Oh, my God, deep fulfillment is absolutely coming. If you are single, you will probably not be single for much longer. If you are in a coupled, coupled relationship, you know, you maybe you're going to move in with this person. Or, you know, if you aren't already, maybe you're going to move in together. You're going to work together. The, the challenge is teamwork. The, the, the Is working together. Working together. Letting go of the need to control. Um, this is pain, though. And it's mirroring the King of Wands reversed. So I'm, I'm wondering um, what this pain is. Page of Coins. So, Gemini, you're going to receive some sort of communication from somebody, these two are mirroring each other, that allows you to move down a new path. This is the door opening, and this is a doorway opening. This is a new path. It's like there's a new door opening. There's a new possibility here, a new enterprise, okay? So, there's a new pathway opening for you that could bring you extreme happiness. It really could. Um, the challenge is starting over. The challenge is believing. The challenge is having faith and trust. The challenge is letting go of control. The ch it's, it's, a, it's, you know, not holding on to pain. Um, letting somebody in. It feel this, this three of, the three of swords is down in your external environment. There's some sort of pain here. This is sorrow. There's sorrow. There's confusion. There's sorrow over... Something. We're we'll have to get another card. Right now, right here, the situation right now. I think that you're stable, you're solid, you're secure. Um, you're very comfortable where you're at right now. But but what's coming in is something that is going to make you very very happy, and you're going to have to. The challenge is 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 giving it a chance. 
And I think that's what your challenge is. And I think that you're challenged to give it a chance because you're still suffering. You're still hurting over something. You're still hurting over some sort of, perhaps it was a fantasy or a, a commitment that ended, you know, that in which you made a bad choice. You're maybe hurting, hurting over a poor choice that you got yourself committed to and it didn't lead to commitment. You know, you may have been, you may be hurting over somebody who uh, was narcissistic or somebody that was controlling, somebody that belittled you, somebody that fed you a line of fantasy and you may not trust. That's exactly what this is too. That is exactly what this is. So I feel like there's there's fear of working together with anybody and getting in, get into another commitment because you're afraid to give anybody a chance because you're stable, you're solid, you're secure right now, you know. And now we got somebody here that could make you really, really happy. They want you to basically, you know, give them a chance. That's what I think this is. Um, so if you are single, you're going to meet somebody unexpectedly, I think. Um, and I think it could happen very, very quickly. I think it could because of that chariot card that I saw. Um, if you were in a coupled relationship, you could be moving in with this person. Wait, this just fell out. You could be moving in together. Um, Or starting over okay just starting over completely you maybe there's been some sort of situation that caused you to lose faith if you're in a coupled relationship you know and things have been a little troublesome I think there's an opportunity to reconnect to start start to start over you know anyway four of swords reversed this is isolation this is sadness. I mean, I do see sadness here. I see sadness. I see some sort of despair. You may feel like you don't feel good enough for this. I don't know what is going to happen, but this three of wands reversed. We don't really want to give anybody a chance, but here it is. Something is arriving. Something is arriving and you may just be like too tired. You may be too tired to even want to give it a chance. I see that. I feel like you're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to be able to adapt. You may need to adapt to some sort of change. This is a change. It is. I think there's some sort of change that is coming in that you are going to need to adapt to. And you're going to have to make some sort of choice. You're going to have to choose whether you want to give this person a chance or not. Obviously. Um, but I think that, you know, this person may come in really fast because the chariot is fast and this is slow down. This one right here, slow down, slow down. You may want this person to slow down. They may make you, may, they, it, this may, it seems like it could be a little chaotic to you. You and, and remember I saw the 10 of wands. You may feel like there's just too much right now. This is too much right now. I didn't expect this. This is out of the blue. You know, somebody may show up out of the blue and want you to give them a chance and they're very, um, it almost feels like they're aggressive, you know, they're aggressive and um, you probably will want to just take a time out to think about this. You might be like, you know, I just, this is a time out and this is a time out too. So you may want to take a time out and to really think about, and remember, didn't I say that at the beginning? The Eight of Cups, think about this. You may need time to think about what has just been presented to you. I think that, and I don't know if it's this person that was belittled you and controlled you and fed you a line of bullshit or not and didn't want a commitment. It could be because I saw that karma card. It could be that person, but it could, it could be somebody brand new. It could be. I think that you're going to need time to go within, to listen, to receive, you know, the answer that you're seeking. But I think that you are going to receive the answer. You're going to get the clarity that you need. So if, if somebody comes a rushing in, uh, take all the time you need to think about it and you will get the answer. Um, patience is needed. Patience is needed. And I think this person, um, there's that Ten of Wands, it is reversed. I think that this person um, that is coming in is, is probably going to be very... Um, Mm 
they're going to be very attracted to you. I think that they, they're at some sort of distance. If you're single, if you're single and, and, and they, it's like they, they need, they want it. They want you to move very quickly. Put it that way. Um, this 10 of wands reversed. This is dropping something, making a conscious change, making a constant, constant, <laughs> conscious change to drop something breaking free you know i'm not sure what this is but this is this is you're gonna have to let go of maybe you gotta let go of a fantasy maybe you have to let go of your pain So that you can start over. I mean, that King of Wands, I don't know who this person is, but that person up there was very manipulative. And it feels like they have controlled you and they have held you down long enough, whoever that person was. I think that you will receive a message from within that will give you the clarity you need. In regards to whatever choice this is that you need to make. Oh my God. The Empress reversed. This is, this is, uh. It's not time. It's like you may feel like it's not time. You're not ready. You may feel like you're not ready. You're not, yeah. You may feel like you're not ready. You're not ready now. And now, and you may choose, you may, you may be like, you know what? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I wasn't expecting this. You may be dealing with some pain. We got some pain here. We got some pain here. You may need to take a time out. You may need to, I'm not sure what is going on, but somebody, you're not sure if you're, if you're going to experience some sort of loss because the three of the, the, the three of swords and this 10 of wands and the king of wands reverse I'm not sure if you're going to experience some sort of loss that is going to cause you some pain and you're not ready you're not ready for any kind of commitment or you have experienced some sort of pain and you're just not ready you're taking a time out right now um and now you got to this the moment of decision do you want do you want to you know cross this bridge or do you want to stay where you're at so I think that you're going to be forced to make some sort of decision um, and you're going to need to have faith and trust. You're going to have to, you know, believe in yourself. You're going to have to choose whether you want to give this person a chance or not. So you have a new opportunity here. And I don't know if it's love or a job with the Page of Pentacles. You have a new opportunity to start on a new path. But I feel like you may feel like you are not ready. Take all the time you need to make this decision. I, who is this person anyway? Oh, there's that judgment card. This person could be a Scorpio. Um, this person is on this person is truthful this person is probably from your past and this could be a past life okay so people they get all hung up and you hear it somebody from the past uh, you know I don't want somebody from the past past life maybe but that doesn't mean I'm gonna go freak out on the comments and say I don't want somebody from the past open your mind and I don't know if I told you guys that my, my messages they come so fast there's an opportunity to reconcile with somebody that you have known before. And the judgment call is in your hands. Good luck.